You mentioned climbing trees. So one of the things I, I often observe with schools like this is that they, kids often have opportunities to do things that may not be typical in other schools. But that also entails sort of managing those levels of risk. So what does that look like for you? I mean, we really do encourage children to take calculated risks, to feel their way through their own boundaries. We have, we're so very lucky, we're in the, in the middle of the city in Sydney, but we do have a beautiful playground with many, many trees and lots of nature, and we've deliberately kept it that way. So there are lots of trees for different age groups and different ability levels to climb. We part of that democratic process that we have is we always talk about safety. And that's one of the big things that we talk about in school meeting, class meetings, rules, school rules or agreements. And they all come from the children. They all vote, they all decide. So that might, you know, that the children are allowed to climb trees here. They're encouraged to listen to their own bodies, find their own limits, you know, and listen to those feelings that they get, I suppose. Um, children might be enjoying a tree, some of the other children might notice that it's not dangerous. They all notice each other. So they, it might come to the school meeting and we might put some agreements in. Or a teacher might say, this, this limb is probably not strong. We need to have some agreements around this to keep everyone safe. So it's all about owning those decisions, owning those rules so that everyone is responsible for them. And I, in, in my, I've been associated with the school since the 90s. Mm -hmm. Every single child who has learned or wanted to climb a tree has found a way and has done so in a safe way because of the way that we expose it to them. They are allowed to create those, those boundaries for themselves where they keep themselves safe. Mm -hmm. And that's, again, one of those skills that we all need in life. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also just the trust that, yeah. that, you, you know, that you give those children they know they can do it. They have the confidence in themselves to do it. So that goes a long way. Mm. I was just going to add to that that I think the we respect where their limits are as well, you know. So rather than telling them that they can't do something because we believe it's unsafe when they believe in themselves they can do it, there's giving them a sense of, you know, ownership over that. And, and in trusting that the child knows what their limits are, depending on how old they are, obviously, and where their level of maturity is. So we have a lot of tree houses and climbing, climbing structures that go up fairly high. And then, you know, and obviously it's, that's all ability leveled so that, you know, the older children, you know, being more capable and can, can extend themselves higher, you know, into the sky. Than, than the younger children, but it gives those younger children something to work towards. Mm -hmm. Also, a lot of those high above climbing structures have been designed and built in conjunction with the children as well as part of the art projects that, that have happened in the past. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>